Hello friends, welcome to the world of project management and for an overview session on project stakeholder management process that is manage stakeholder engagement. Mood of this training is to share my experience in preparing for PMP certification and I have prepared few slides. Let's quickly move to our agenda for this session that we are going to discuss on what is manage stakeholder engagement process and its ITTOs that is inputs, tools and techniques and outputs in more detail. Let's start. It is the third process in the project stakeholder management and it is defined as manage stakeholder engagement is the process of communicating and working with the stakeholders to meet their needs and expectations and address issues and foster appropriate stakeholder involvement. Okay, I hope you understood this definition. And the key benefit of this process is that it allows the project manager to increase the support and minimize the resistance from the stakeholders. Okay, hope you understood the definition and the key benefit. And also this managing stakeholder engagement helps to ensure that the stakeholders clearly understand the project goals, objectives, benefits and the risk of the project as well as how their contribution will be enhancing the project success okay so hope you understood about this definition key point and the main importance of this process let's go with the ITTOs in inputs we have the project management plan which contains the communication management plan risk management plan stakeholder engagement plan and change management plan and inputs we have the project documents which contains the change log issue log lessons learned registered and stakeholder registered and inputs also we have the EFs and OPAs enterprise environmental factors and organizational process assets and coming to the tools and techniques we have the expert judgment the communication skills which contains the feedback and we have the interpersonal and team skills which contains the conflict management cultural awareness negotiation observation or conversation and political awareness in the tools and techniques also we have the ground rules and meetings and coming to the outputs we have the change request the project management plan updates which contains the communication management plan and the stakeholder engagement plan and also in the inputs we have the project document updates which contains the change log issue log lessons learned registered and the stakeholder registered okay fine so this is an overview of the ITTUs let's discuss in more detail about this inputs tools and techniques and outputs starting with inputs in inputs first we have the project management plan which contains the communication management plan risk management plan stakeholder engagement plan and the change management plan let me explain one by one first with communication management plan this input the communication management plan describes the methods formats and technologies used for the stakeholder communication and coming to the risk management plan the risk management plan input describes the risk categories risk appetites and reporting formats that can be used to manage the stakeholder engagement coming to stakeholder engagement plan the stakeholder engagement plan input provides a guidance and information on managing the stakeholder expectations okay moving to the chain management plan this input the chain management plan describes the process for submitting evaluating and implementing the changes with respect to the project okay hope you understood about this first input the project management plan let's move to the next input we have the project documents which contains the change log issue log lessons learned registered and the stakeholder registered let me explain one by one first with the change log in this the change request and their status are documented in the change log and communicated to the appropriate stakeholders coming to the issue log any project or stakeholder concerns are need to be documented in the issue log as well as any assigned actions associated with managing the issues okay moving to the lessons learned register the lessons learned earlier in the project with regard to managing the stakeholder engagement 
can also be applied to the later phases in the project to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the process. Okay, hope you understood this. Moving to the stakeholder register. This input, the stakeholder register, provides a list of all the project stakeholders and with any information needed to execute the stakeholder engagement plan. Okay, hope you understood about this input, the project documents. Let's move to the next input. We have the enterprise environmental factors. These EFs may include any organizational culture, political climate, and governance structure of the organization, or it may include the personal administration policies, or it may include the stakeholder risk thresholds, and it may include the established communication channels, or it may include the global, regional, or local trends, practices, or habits, and it might include the geographic distribution of the facilities and resources. Okay, this is about the EFs. Coming to the next input, we have the OPS, organizational process assets, which may include the corporate policies and procedures for social media ethics and security. It may include corporate policies and procedures for issue, risk, change, and data management, or it may include some organizational communication requirements, or it may include some standardized guidelines for development, exchange, storage, and retrieval of information, and it may include some historical information from the similar previous successful projects. Okay, this is about OPS. Okay, we here we have completed all the inputs of the managed stakeholder engagement process. Let's move to its tools and techniques. First, starting with the expert judgment. As I said in my previous sessions also, the expertise should be considered from individuals or groups with some specialized knowledge or training in few areas such as the expertise should have knowledge on the politics, power structure, environment and culture in the organization outside the organization or the expertise should have knowledge on the analytical and assessment techniques to be used for stakeholder engagement process or it may have some communication methods and strategies. Okay, hope you understood this technique, the expert judgment. Let's move to the next technique. We have the communication skills, which includes the feedback. In this, the methods of communication identified for each stakeholder in the communication management plan are applied during the stakeholder engagement management. And the project management team uses the feedback to assist in understanding the stakeholder reaction to the various project management activities and with their key decisions. And this feedback may be collected in different ways, such as conversions that includes both formal or informal, or issues, identification and discussion, meetings, progress reporting, and surveys. Okay, hope you understood about this feedback technique. Let's move to the next technique. We have the interpersonal and team skills techniques which includes the conflict management, cultural awareness, negotiation, observation or conversation, and political awareness. Let me explain one by one. First with the conflict management. In this technique, the project manager should ensure that conflicts are resolved in a timely manner. Okay, moving to the cultural awareness. In this technique, the cultural awareness is used to help the project manager and team to communicate effectively by considering all the cultural differences and the requirements of the stakeholders. Okay, hope you understood this. Moving to the negotiation. This technique negotiation is mainly used to achieve the support or agreement that supports the work of the project or its outcomes and to resolve the conflicts within the team or with other stakeholders. Okay, hope you understood about this negotiation. Moving to the observation or conversation. This technique is used to stay in touch with the work and attitudes of the project team members and with the other stakeholders. Okay, moving to the political awareness. This technique, the political awareness, is achieved through understanding the power relationships within project or around the project. This is about the political awareness. Okay, hope you understood about this interpersonal and team skills techniques. Let's move to the next technique. We have ground rules how they are defined. The ground rules defined in the team charter set the expected behavior of the project team members as well as the other stakeholders with regard to the stakeholder engagement process. 
hope you understood about this ground rules moving to the next technique we have meetings mainly here the meetings are used to discuss and address any issue or concern regarding the stakeholder engagement process and we have different types of meetings that are beneficial as part of this process that is decision making issue resolution lessons learned and retrospectives project kick off meetings or sprint plannings and the status updates okay here we have completed all the tools and techniques of the manage stakeholder engagement process let's move to the outputs in outputs first we have the change request as a result of managing the stakeholder engagement the changes to the project scope or the product scope may emerge has to go through the pic process that is perform integrated change control process okay hope you understood about this first output change request let's move to the next output we have project management plan updates which contains the communication management plan and the stakeholder engagement plan let me explain one by one first with the communication management plan this output the communication management plan is updated to reflect the new or changed stakeholder requirements okay hope you understood this moving to the stakeholder engagement plan this output the stakeholder engagement plan is updated to reflect the new or changed management strategies required to effectively engage all the stakeholders okay hope you understood about this communication management plan and the stakeholder engagement plan okay let's move to the next output we have the project documents which contains the change log issue log lessons learned registered and the stakeholder registered let me explain one by one first with the change log in this the change log may be updated based on an any change request it's so simple moving to the issue log the issue log here may be updated to reflect any update to or the development of or any issue log entries okay hope you understood this coming to the lessons learned registered here the lessons learned registered is updated with the effective or ineffective approaches to managing the stakeholder engagement so that the information can be used in the current project or it might be used in the future projects okay hope you understood this moving to the stakeholder registered this output the stakeholder registered may be updated based on any new information provided to the stakeholders about all the issue results or approved changes or any general project status okay hope you understood about this output the project documents here we have completed all the outputs also of this managed stakeholder engagement process fine so we have completed all the attitudes that is inputs tools and techniques and outputs of the managed stakeholder engagement process before closing this session let's highlight some key points here in this process that is we need to execute the stakeholder strategies documented in the stakeholder management plan that is the first one and coming to the second one we need to work with all the stakeholders to meet their needs and expectations and coming to the third key point we need to address all the concerns and issues as whenever they occur during this process and coming to the fourth key point we need to foster the effective stakeholder engagement extensively using the communication and interpersonal and management skills and the last key point is that we need to increase the stakeholder support and minimize the stakeholder resistance okay fine so here we have completed our third process also on the project stakeholder management knowledge area that is manage stakeholder engagement and hope this complete session is easy and understandable for you fine let's discuss more detail on the next process in the project stakeholder management area that is monitor stakeholder engagement process in the next video kindly provide your feedback on the given email id below and subscribe my channel if you like this video and share with your friends bye for now it's your anil kumar dharam